There are several shelters in um, our area, but not really in Bethel. So there's a really good shelter in Freiburg, and then there's responsible pet care in Norway, but we have quite a, a wide area that isn't covered, and so if people have an animal that they find that doesn't have a home, or that they need to get into a home, there's really nowhere around here for them to take that animal. Heart of the Mountains, the interest for this animal shelter began a few years ago. Um, I don't know if you guys know Dr. John Mason in Bethel, Maine is a dentist locally and he's always wanted to um, operate an animal shelter and was looking for help to do that. Well, our mission is to provide um, animals in Oxford County and um, greater western Maine with a safe and comfortable forever home. So ideally we will just be a transition house for these dogs and cats that are surrendered stray um, are lost. We will begin uh, working with dogs and cats um, and eventually guinea pigs, rabbits, maybe someday horses, but for resource, on a resource based mind, dogs and cats are going to be the easiest and the most common. So they're going to be more of the dogs and cats that are surrendered. We don't have a facility yet, so as we um, move into a new facility and get it renovated, then our goal is to keep animals coming through and hopefully someday expand to a new, big, huge location and be able to take on more animals, but um, right now we're starting small with what resources we have. When I very first started, um, I made some phone calls and I, call, I called some animal shelters that are already successful and they told us what it took for them to get started. Um, and then from there I looked for a group of similar minded people that were you know, committed to helping animals and we're looking for something like this. Well, I got involved with the shelter because they actually contacted me. Um, it was the girl, the woman who had the idea, her name is Cassie Mason, and she emailed me and she said that lots of people in town had mentioned my name, that I love animals and have dogs, and would I like to be involved? So they invited me to be part of the project. We have lots of things to, to work toward and um, that we're looking forward to. One is actually just finding and making, creating a physical facility. So that in itself, to get there, we need to raise a lot of money. We need to have a lot more community awareness and involvement. And I think on that same, same level, experience is something that we can only gain with time. And this is the first time any of us have ever opened an animal shelter. Great energy from you guys is just awesome. And that, that in itself, it may seem like a small thing, but it's a really big thing to have. Our passion is being bolstered by your passion and excitement. Well, I think one of the things that's really important is that for the community to know that you guys have picked this. Nobody told you what you had to do for a project, so I think one of the important things would be for you guys to share why you chose this as something that you wanted to focus on. And um, the other thing I think that's important is everything that you have to learn in order to support something like this. Like you are learning a lot of good skills and um, I think it makes you good community members. Telstar Middle students believe that animals are a big part of our lives. Without them, our lives wouldn't be very special. They wanted to work with animals to help them, so this was just the right cause to help. Telstar Middle School students are planning fundraisers to help the Heart of the Mountains group and are hoping to do lots more in the future. The way volunteers can begin to help part of the uh, mountains right now is to like us on Facebook. We have a Facebook page, and the more traffic or the more likes that our page will get, the more it will show up in news feeds. So we need that. You know, your likes will help promote us to all sorts of people that are, you know, on Facebook looking for entertainment. They might stumble across our page and, um, you know, become involved that way. Word of mouth, um, social media. Uh, until we find a facility, there, aren't, there isn't too much hands-on to be done, but once that happens and we move into a new facility, we'll definitely need help with the fun stuff like renovations and painting and decorating, which is where the artwork might come in, and um, you know, down the road when there are a dozen dogs, we're going to need help with dog walking and handling and grooming and all that fun stuff. So. It will become more and more demanding as we move further down the road, but for right now, just your involvement, I think, with promoting us and 
um, sharing your enthusiasm. We're trying to raise money for everything right now. Um, definitely a facility is our top priority and we're working with um, one lead donation right now and we're going to be launching a bigger campaign later this winter or early spring so hopefully by this time next year we'll already be in a new facility. Locally I've learned that Bethel is so supportive. I think we are in a great spot. We have gotten letters and messages and donations. Animals can be your best friends. They never tell your secrets, they love to play, and they can make you smile. Without them, there might not be a shoulder to cry on, someone looking forward to see you, or someone to cheer you up. The Heart of the Mountains group is trying to give these friends a home. That's why this is so important. Today at the ArtReach event, all the profits that Telstar gets is going to this cause. So please open up your hearts and maybe your wallets to help give a friend a home.